About a year ago, a YouTuber by the name of Monman posted this video. He said that Unturned has a problem. In this video, he goes on and explains that all the Unturned maps have similar attributes such as the main points of interest being connected by roads. He also explains that the main points on the maps are evenly distributed. He goes on saying that these maps aren't bad or boring and I would have to agree. With over a thousand hours on the game, I still find it enjoyable and entertaining to play on all types of maps. However, before the release of Elver and Unturned, the game felt pretty repetitive. Gather loot, build a base, get more loot, have your base raided, and start all over again. This process is fun at first, but after a while, it gets boring. Most of the community agrees that playing a different map does not deliver a different experience until recently. With the release of Elver in mid-2020, the game has changed. Not only is it bringing back old players, but it is also adding a unique playstyle, and it's bringing heaps of new players. Why is this happening? I believe it boils down to the playstyle. In Elver, building and raiding is not the only playstyle. Now, this is a common playstyle in the game, however, there is now a variation. The map offers a unique quests and missions you can complete to get high tier loot. This means that many players will resort to quests and buying items from the in-game NPCs at the Sky Island as opposed to raiding bases. Because of this aspect, players will now have more time to build up their bases and it will require much more grinding for materials in order to actually raid. This was done on purpose. Raiding bases is fun, and before on maps like Russia, Washington, or PEI, this could be done relatively easy. After about an hour of gameplay, you've probably gathered enough filters and ammo to go to the dead zone, find a high caliber gun, and enough ammo to do the job. On Elver, creating these map aspects have created more time for players to build up and finish quests leaving raiding towards the end of the game. These quests require a lot of dedication and influence you to keep playing the game. Similar to other maps, the Dead Zone offers players with valuable high tier loot. What's the difference between Elver and the other maps is the process of getting to the Dead Zone. In Elver, the only way to access the Dead Zone is finding mesh, which is an extremely rare item, then to craft filters. Once you do this, then you will have to find materials all around the map to craft a gas mask. This is a process that takes up a lot of time, but you are then rewarded with high tier loot. Once you enter the dead zone you will notice different sections of the underground map are bordered off by doors that require key cards to open. Each section has a different loot type and in order to find these key cards you will have to collect them all around the map. This again adds a new playstyle to the game. Getting high tier loot into the dead zone is now much more rewarding as simply going into the dead zone is a hefty task on its own. This supports a point I made earlier. The process of getting better loot is a lot more rewarding and supports the story in the game. For example, one of Rainwright's quests is to summon and destroy four horde beacons. This cannot be done without resources that are most common in the dead zone. Finally, moving on to the map. Now the map isn't anything new. In fact, it looks very similar to the past Unturned maps we've seen. However, what differs this map from the rest is the off-road quest locations. With the addition of the Sky Island and the quests that come with it, you are challenged to go off the beaten path to collect keycards, find planters, and kill hordes of zombies. They also recently added bunkers. This is a unique base building tool as they are hidden all over the map and players can fortify them and use them as bases. The dead zone of being underground is another unique feature to the Elver Unturned map. Previously, the dead zone took up quite a bit of map in map space, making the spacing of other locations feel off. The underground dead zone adds to the feel of the map and I believe it was a smart decision not only it being underground, but adding bordered off sections with different loot. Like I said, the creation of this map is bringing plenty of new players and I don't want to see it go.
I know that they said this map is only going to have one more update until it's complete, but I think that they should continue adding to it. Maybe they should switch around different bunkers and add stuff that would go with the lore of the map. For example, once you complete all the Rainwright quests, you are able to go and see Nelson, which is an in-game easter egg. But I think that maybe they should switch it up. Maybe they should add more quests or take away different quests. Maybe they should add in an item or re remove an item. I think this would all add a unique and different feel to the map every time it's updated. Now this map isn't perfect and there's still some glitches and it isn't everything we wanted but I believe it is a great addition to the game and I'm sad they're only going to update it one more time.